Track 4 Unit 3 3.1 Exercise 2 Good morning everyone. My name is Steve Jackson and I'm here today to tell you about my recent trip to the Antarctic. Now, the first question people generally ask me is, did I freeze? And my answer is that, amazingly, no, I didn't. The temperature can go as low as minus 10 degrees, even during the summer months. But while I was there, it was about plus 7, and I found it quite comfortable. However, you should take warm clothes with you, and you really need a windproof coat. But what I found most useful were some sunglasses. The sun can get really strong with the reflection off the snow and ice. On the ship, I had my own cabin, and pretty small it was too. At first, I wondered where I was going to put my things, as there was no wardrobe. However, whoever designed the ship thought of just about everything a passenger would need, and under the bed there was a cupboard. The atmosphere on board the ship was great. The crew were mainly American, and they really did their best to get everyone to mix. But, of course, you don't have to socialise if you don't want to. The expedition leader was Australian, and he sat at a different table for dinner every night so he'd get to meet us all. He was really friendly and informative. As to the weather, well, it can get stormy in the Antarctic, but the ocean was calm while I was there. That was good, because I was worried about getting seasick before I went. Luckily I was OK, and few of the other passengers had problems. Do I have any special memories? Well, it's hard to say, really. There are so many. We saw a few whales, especially near a place called Coverville Island, but I guess what I most treasure is the large variety of birds we saw. They were terrific. Of course, the Antarctic doesn't have many people living there, and the only people we saw, apart from tourists, were a few of the scientists at a research station. They gave us coffee and biscuits one morning. There's a landing strip there, but no harbour or anything like that. You have to get onto shore in a small rubber motorboat. In the past, there used to be a thriving fishing industry in the area, but all that's left are some deserted buildings now. No old boats or machinery or anything like that, though. I'm often asked if I felt guilty about disturbing such an untouched region as Antarctica. I guess yes and no. Cruise ships aren't allowed to dump rubbish or to go where they like, and they have to take scientists to lead the excursions. There are rules, of course. Only small parties are permitted to land in one area at a time, and you've got to keep quiet and not bother the wildlife. So, all in all, I felt that well-run trips like this one would do more good than harm. I also felt completely changed by the experience. It was like going to another world. Now, if any of you have any questions...